Conditional Introduction. In this video, you will learn about the Conditional Introduction Rule. Conditional Introduction is the easiest of the rules involving assumptions. The rule says that if you can derive some result from an assumption, you can infer a conditional with the assumption as the antecedent, that is, the left side of the conditional, and the result as the consequent, that is, the right side of the conditional. This is much more intuitive than it might seem at first. Suppose you are a mad scientist who is running various experiments in your lab, and you know two things are true. One, if I add water to this mixture, the mixture will burst into flame. And two, if the mixture bursts into flames, it will be really cool. On the basis of what you know, you can see that we should be able to infer that if I add water to this mixture, it will be really cool. Let's see how this works in natural deduction. First, we have the premises. If w, then f, where w stands for I add water to this mixture, and f stands for it will burst into flames. And we also have if f, then c, where c stands for it will be really cool. Now we are trying to show the conclusion if w, then c. If I had wadded this mixture, it will be really cool. We do this by conditional introduction. Set the justification for the conclusion to conditional introduction and select make assumption. When making an assumption for conditional introduction, you will be asked for the assumption and the target. You already have the result, which is a conditional, and you can determine the assumption and the target from the result. The assumption is always the antecedent of the result, and the target is always the consequent of the result. So, set the assumption to W and the target to C. Now select Make Assumption. You can see that the assumption is sort of like testing a hypothesis. Your hypothesis is, if I add water to this mixture, it will be cool. Now you're at the stage where you're actually testing your hypothesis. At line 3, our assumption, we suppose that we are actually adding water to the mixture. Now what follows from our adding water to the mixture? Well, the water will burst into flames according to 1, 3, conditional elimination. Furthermore, we know that it will be cool according to 2, 4, conditional elimination. So what we've shown is that on the assumption that we add water to the mixture, it follows, eventually, that it will be cool. And so we're entitled to infer the conclusion, if we add water to the mixture, then it will be really cool. 3, comma 5, arrow introduction. And so that's how conditional introduction works. In sum, if you were trying to derive a conditional formula, do so by conditional introduction. Assume the antecedent of the conditional you were trying to get and try to derive the consequent.